Hello, this is Jim Malloy, Lexington Town Manager, and I am presenting on Article 12O. So the big question is, why do we need to spend anything? The problem is that the current parking meters use 3G technology for their credit card function, and that the town has been notified that the 3G functionality will be eliminated in the 2021 and 2022 timeframe, and that as a minimum, we need to upgrade to 4G for the current meters. How much would it cost to just update, upgrade the meters? Each meter will cost approximately $205 to upgrade from 3G to 4G technology. And we have approximately 500 meters for a total cost of 105,000. With the $105,000 one-time cost, and no additional changes, the town would continue to pay the annual cost of approximately 90,000 for parking lot attendance. The current meters use older technology. Many communities have gone to phone apps to handle parking meters, and other communities have used single point kiosks to manage parking spaces. Lexington uses a combination of parking meters and parking lot attendance. As we look at the need to invest in upgrading our meters, the question we asked was, can we do better? The best solution is a combination with an eye to the future. Article 12O is based on funding complete meter replacement throughout the center with kiosks fully installed at $18,000 each. This is not necessarily going to be our approach. We're currently out to bid for the center streetscape project with this as an option for Mass Ave and we'll finalize our review after bid opening. We are also reviewing parking lots and parking lot attendance as a separate item from Mass Ave. The likely solution We'll be maintaining individual parking meters on Mass Ave with coins, credit cards, and the pay by phone app as an option to ensure regular turnover. And then to eliminate the parking lot attendance and parking lots, saving approximately $90,000 per year in wages and upgrade the parking lots to provide parking kiosks. The return on investment going this route is estimated to be within five years. So the costs right now with 504 meters at uh, $205 a meter, it would cost about $103,320. Parking lot attendance are about $89,127. We're budgeting 25 parking kiosks at $18,000 a piece for a $450,000 project. We have a prior appropriation from a few years ago when the town upgraded the meters the last time, which has a remaining balance of $106,763. Article 12O is for $343,237, totaling $450,000 in total available revenues. So if you look at the savings we have every year, the first year we would be foregoing the one-time meter upgrade and the parking lot attendance. And so from the $450,000 capital outlay, in year one, we had a cost avoidance of $192,447, and then our total net cost ends up being 257,553. And then for year two, three, four, and five, what, what we've done here is just added 2% onto the amount that we were paying the parking lot attendants because that's generally what we've been giving for cost of living increases. And so that is the column here that has 90,910, 92,728, 94,582, and 96,474. So you can see in year four, we actually get to the point where we have uh, drawn down the total cost um, to below what our capital outlay is. At the same time, we'll have some additional costs because there are charges that go along with um, pay by phone and using the kiosk as far as the 3G and 4G technology. It's similar to the cost we have with our current parking meters, but it will be a little bit more. And so within five years, we do anticipate having um, a complete return on our investment. So one last note, uh, we do not anticipate any increase in parking fees at this time and will establish a similar rate and program for employees in the center to ensure their costs do not increase and their options do not decrease as part of this solution. We have engaged the parking management group in this discussion and the center committee and will continue to engage both groups as we move forward. Thank you.